the Green Team, and I'm Dawn. And I'm Jalen, and I hope you had a good break. Who are you winking at, Jalen? The guy who was sagging. Actually, I think that's our first story for this podcast. Take it away, Ben, Jarrell, and Gage. Have you ever been walking in the hallway and noticed that another student's pants were way too low? Then you have came to the right place. We will be interviewing numerous people on this ongoing problem at Helix. We wanted to get deep into this discussion, so we paid Mr. Osborne a visit to see what his thoughts were on sagging. Well, to be honest with you, Jarrell, it's uh, terrible. I mean, um, every once in a while I run into some of my seniors and they're sagging and, you know, I really don't want to see their underwear. We all have seen numerous accounts of sagging, but we asked Mr. Osborne what was the worst case of sagging he has ever seen at Helix. He, he was walking down the thing and he was walking like this because his pants were like right down to here. He, he had these, his underwear were up here and, and the belt was like tight here and the kid was walking like a penguin. Not only did we interview Mr. Osborne on what he thinks about sagging, but we got some student perspective on sagging as well. My thoughts on sagging is, you know, to a certain degree, it's kind of pointless. I always sag. Always. Sadly, this sagging will probably never end, but Helix is doing its best to limit this problem. Signing out for the green team, I'm Ben Johnson. I'm Jarrell Crow. And I'm Gage Falk. I would if there was a recycling bin. Good point. Don't we have a story on that? Yeah, Joey did one. Oh, there he is now. Hello, I'm Joey Allen for the Green Team. Today's top story, recycling. Why well, doesn't Helix? As you can clearly see, there are no recycling bins marked around school and none of the classrooms properly recycle. So why do kids feel it's so lazy to uh, throw it away in a trash can? Scotty, what do you think? Well, Captain, we're giving her all she's got, and they just don't listen. They will not recycle their trash. We believe the solutions are within the earthlings themselves and the life forms on this planet. We must let them, in ASB, in clubs, in organizations, come up with a solution for themselves. After getting Mr. Osborne's opinion on this matter, we decided to hear what the students had to say. I feel that Helix should start recycling because it's better for the earth and I mean we're such a big campus with so many students here we have a really big carbon footprint so we should really start recycling. I'm Joey Allen signing up for the green team. You stay classy Helix. Ah, uh, no stick. That's gay. So something of no gender like something of the same gender? That confuses me. Well, you could always go to GSA meetings and learn why it's so offensive to call something gay, or you could watch this next segment from Katie and Scarlett about LGBT bullying. Many young people are committing suicide due to the bullying that happens to lesbian, gay, bisexual, and transgender youth on a daily basis. There have been many recent deaths of LGBT youth, such as 18 year old Tyler Clemente and Matthew Shepard. Many celebrities and organizations are speaking out against LGBT bullying. The Gay Story Alliance is striving to keep Helix a safer school. Delete the word fag out of their vocabulary, or they can stop saying that's so gay. If something's stupid, call it stupid. Helix is a much better place than a lot of other schools. The staff members really care. They, they take it seriously. If you get bullied, Go to any staff member, it doesn't matter even if you have the teacher or you don't, it's not your counselor, it's not your vice principal, your academic advisor, go to them and they will take care of you. While many people think Helix is safer than most other schools, many people are being bullied at Helix. Well, I've never been bullied because I'm straight, but some of my bi friends have been bullied and I don't think it's right. I've definitely seen it a lot over the years and I've definitely defended a lot of people. Well, I've been bullied before a lot because uh, I just came out last August to the school and April to my family, so I've had to deal with a lot of it. 
If you or a friend are going through a tough time or thinking about suicide, call the Trevor Project at 866-488-7386. If you see someone being bullied, please report it to the administration. People should remember that love is love and people deserve respect no matter who they are. Signing out, Katie and Scarlett for The, the Green, Green Team. Team. I choose you, Pikachu. Yeah. Ah! I summon you, Blue Eyes White Dragon. Since we were kids, there has been a huge debate. We've all been wondering which is better, Yu-Gi-Oh! or Pokemon. Both are very popular with video games, shows, and movies. But which one wins the heart of the students and faculty of Helix Charter High School? Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yeah. I like Yu-Gi-Oh. I'd say Pokemon. 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 Who or what? <laughs> I'm Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu -Oh. Pokemon. Do I have to answer? Yeah. Pokemon. Pokemon. That's the original gangster right there. <laughs> Pokemon. Pokemon number one. Pokemon. John Mayer. I don't even know. Very nice challenging. Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> Pokemon. Uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yu-Gi-Oh! Because it's easy to play, but for actual cartoons, Pokemon. I don't know either. Pokemon. Yu-Gi-Oh! Pokemon. Pokemon. Pokemon! 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 Uh, Pokemon. Oh, Pokemon. Oh. For sure. Pokemon! Pokemon. Pokemon! Pikachu! <laughs> I'm Asian. Pokemon! Pokemon! Hey, what are you doing? Looking at my new Yu-Gi-Oh card. Yu-Gi-Oh? Yeah! You still play that? Uh-huh. Wow, you're lame. It's all about Pokemon. Just look at the numbers. Uh, I guess. This is Donna. And Nick. And we're signing off for the green team. One. We apologize for the late broadcast, but we hope it was informative. Remember guys, don't sag. If you want to show off your undies, be an underwear model. Try to recycle as much as you can. You can even get money for those bottles and cans. Lastly, bullying is never okay. If you have nothing nice to say, don't say it at all. This is Dawn Simonson. And Jalen Hines. Signing out for the great team. Bye.